we're going to continue discussing circles. Uh, unfortunately, what we have here, we have equations that are not in that nice form where we can easily pick off the center and the radius. What we have to do is complete the square. And we first start by rearranging our terms. So you put your x's together, so this is x squared minus 6x. Leave some space. And then we have plus y squared plus 8y. And then you want to move the constant here to the other side, so that's a positive 24. Now it's all about completing the square. So we're going to do it just like we've done before. Go ahead and put your parentheses square because you know that's what's going to happen here for each of these guys. So here's x, here's y. Let's make it happen. What's half of negative 6? negative 3. And what's negative 3 squared? Plus 9. Now when we were completing the square before, we know we can't just add 9 here. We have to add it to the other side of the equation. So, we have to add 9 to this guy. And then here, what's half of 8? Positive 4. And positive 4 squared is 16. So we have to add 16 over here. So when this is all said and done, 24 plus 9 plus 16 is 49. And so it's from here that we can pick off our uh, coordinates for the center. So that would be the opposite of this guy, so that's going to give me 3. The opposite of this guy, which is negative 4. The radius squared is 49, so the radius itself is just 7. So I use that information to graph my circle. So let's come over here. I've got 3, negative 4, so 3, negative 4 is the center. And I need to go 7 in all directions. It is going to be kind of a tall order here, but we're going to do our best. So go 7 units up, go 7 units to the left go 7 units to the right, so this is 6, 7 is going to be somewhere right about there, 7 down, so it's 5, 6, 7, something kind of like that. So sometimes you get a little bit off, that's okay. And we just graph the prettiest circle that we can, that we can imagine here. I'm sure this would look a lot better if this were not in pen. There we go. So those are circle with a radius 7, and it's got the center that we have that we've already identified. All right, yes, yeah, so in the comment section, you may use the word janky to describe that circle. Sorry about that. Uh, let's do this again. Let's try another example. Here we have x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 4y minus 31 equals 0. So rearrange. So you have x squared plus 2x. Leave a space. Plus y squared plus 4y. Leave a space and go ahead and kick the 31 to the other side. Like this. Now, just like we did in the last problem, you know this is going to factor as a square. And this guy will also factor as a square. So, there's the x, and there's the y. Half of 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So I need to add a 1 over here as well. Half of 4 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. So I need to add 4. All together on the right side we have 36. So now I have my equation in the form where I can easily pick off the center and the radius. So the center is going to be the opposite of what I see, so it's going to be a negative 1. The opposite of what I see here, that's negative 2. The radius squared is 36, so the radius itself is just 6. So we have negative 1, 
negative 2, and a radius of 6. So go 6 in the four major directions. So 6 this way, here, down, to the right. And then we just draw our circle. Ooh, that's a, uh, see this is where maybe if you have like a nice thick pencil or marker, you can kind of make up for some errors here. There we go. So in these problems, the key is completing the square like I've done here, and what you add on one side, you add to the other side, just like I've shown you here. So here is your circle.